To remove a battery from an I-9, an E-9, an S liberator, or a scaling light, you will need a small Phillips screwdriver such as this. Turn your device upside down and on the back you will see the battery compartment door. There's a small screw that you will need to remove using your Phillips screwdriver. Once removed, you can use two hands and use your thumbs to pull downward and open the door. As you can see, it's starting to open, but if you have a hard time pulling down and opening this door, you can use a small screwdriver flathead such as this, and in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see there's a little slot. Put your screwdriver there and push down. As you can see, it opens easily. Remove the battery door, and there's your battery. Remove the battery, use your forefinger to put under the black and red wiring, which goes down into the circuit board. You'll want to pull straight forward up and out of the device, making sure not to get the head of the charging prong caught up on the housing, the interior housing of the unit. So simply pull up just like that. Then you take your new battery. You notice that there's a little slot that runs upward to the end of the prong. And the top of the prong looks like a little house with a roof. That's going to be pointing outward to the right, the same as it is on the interior of your unit. For this, you want to use your screwdriver again. Place your prong down inside. Take your screwdriver, put it between the two wires, and firmly press down until you hear a click. You will also hear a beep. Once inserted, put the wires in front of the battery, push the battery down into the battery area. Take your battery door. Slide it back on until it pops into place. Take your screw, screw it back in. And you're done.